Hey guys, Mike Sorg at Sorgish on the tour for basic Sorgonomics for this. What is it? June 25th. Wow, 2015. And uh, today we're going to talk about podcasting on the other side of what are you listening to? What am I listening to? I think an earlier version of this segment on a, on a show uh, would have been what's on your iPod. But of course, who has just an iPod anymore? But anyways, you know, I... I certainly influenced a good bit about what I listen to on a regular basis. Uh, as I'm working through the week, this is the stuff that informs me. These are my news sources uh, anymore. And uh, and I think it's important to see like where, where that's coming from. And maybe there's stuff that you guys will dig um, you know, that, that uh, will inspire you as well. Uh, the biggest thing, first of all, uh, I was actually just had it on here before I came down here as I was doing it. I, I roll out of bed and click on my... Uh, Stitcher is actually what I use to listen to most podcasts. Uh, it's really hard for me to get a regular podcast that's not in Stitcher uh, to kind of get it in my flow because it's I open up the app, it has my list of my favorites, and I see what's what's updated, and I click play. For as many problems as there's been with the application, um, which seem to be resolved recently, that's uh, that's that's where everything's at. Now from there, so what do I listen to? I, I roll out of bed. I kick on there and I, I listen to a show called the Daily Tech News Show, uh, which I think is significant. Uh, there, this is hosted by Tom Merritt, uh, and I realized that I've been listening to Tom Merritt tell me the daily news or some some form of it since forever. Uh, because you know, before this, he was actually part of uh, Twit This Week in Tech, which we will certainly be talking about as part of. Uh, uh, geez, I. I Tech News Tonight, I guess it was. No, yes, that's it. Uh, the, the, which is still a show on there under a different host, but uh, definitely a different brand, a different flavor. I always feel like uh, that he always brought to the news giving, I guess. And I've been listening to him since uh, he was on CNET, I guess, as uh, Buzz Out Loud. Uh, so it's kind of that familiar personality that you kind of follow. And I think that happens with podcasting. I'm presuming that's happening with the stuff that I'm making as well. That's why you guys maybe have come across this show because you're familiar with basic sort or I'm sorry, uh, wrestling mayhem show and awesome cast. That's my guest. I'm hoping that's let me know. Actually, let me know on Twitter if that's that's exactly what's going on, or you're finding me brand new. What what the case may be. Uh, from there, I, I, and while I'm on the on the you know cause of uh, uh, Tom Merritt. There's another one called Cord Killers. This again was another one that that was a uh, uh, kind of spun off from a show that he had on Twit until he, he had to depart uh, about a year and a half ago. And it's about uh, cord killers. It's, it's about um, cutting your, cutting the cord. It, 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 mostly, mostly. But, uh, you know, watching TV online, watching TV in new ways, and the technology around how we are doing that. You can check that out at cordkillers.com. Now, both of those shows are interesting because they're, they're by him. He's not a production company. He's just a guy. Uh, obviously, he's a guy with already a following and has been in the game for a while. But both those shows are 100% supported by Patreon. Uh, and he's kind of been the poster child for podcasts on Patreon, which, if you're not familiar, is kind of a fan-funded way of doing it. And, and you know, to the point where they've been able to up production They've been able to, uh, you know, add on co-hosts, stuff like that, and it's been really cool to see that happen. So uh, definitely uh, check out both of those, uh, DailyTechnicShow.com and CourtKillers.com for those. Uh, the other big one, of course, Twit. It was the podcast that talked me into doing podcasts. To be to be honest, uh, seeing Leah Laporte, who I was, I you know, at the time I was just following everybody that was a personality on Tech TV because I loved Tech TV. And seeing what they were doing, because I just knew that whatever the next thing I was going to be into as far as getting my technology content that I loved on tech TV and screensavers and all that kind of stuff would come from one of these people. And yes, it completely came from Leo Laporte. I, you know, I may have talked about here on before. Uh, I got to visit uh, the Twit Studios back around the holidays, and that was just awesome. It was like a mecca for me at this point. And they actually just redesigned the site over there. And, and I don't listen to everything on Twit. There's some shows that just, eh, you know, they're fine. They're fine. I don't need to listen to an hour and a half of uh, pondering why Windows is the way it is every week, for instance. Uh, but again, a wonderful production. These guys are high end. They're doing this out of a million dollar studio studio out there in Pataluma, California. And, uh, and and I just really, really dig the that flow and style and what they've developed here in the punditry going on uh, there. Uh, every week, every week, I listen to a combination 
of This Week in Tech, which is the flagship show, uh, you know, all roundtable kind of shows, Mac Break Weekly and This Week in Google. And from there, maybe I'll, I'll check out a, uh, every long once in a while an Android uh, uh, uh Oh, geez, what's their Android show? All about Android or Windows Weekly, uh, of course. And, and that's about it. And I, I, I dip in every once in a while on something else. New screensavers, their, their new, more video-centric show. Uh, I'm, of course, going to be, you know, I'm going to check out as well. And, uh, and, and you really can't go wrong if you're into tech, news, anything like that. Uh, they have a pretty good... Uh, lineup over there. Uh, the other one that's really kind of a big network sort of thing, but not not as high end as Twit. Uh, these guys, I think, are still fairly grassroots, but they have a lot of great personalities that you may know across the internet. Uh, the internet famous people, I guess you could say, guys like Marco Armand, who actually I think has recently left this. Who uh, he he's responsible for a few apps you might be using out there on on and kind of got. Uh, 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 an okay lifestyle out of, of that and can do basically whatever he wants. Uh, but at, at 5 by 5 uh, 5 by 5tv that's what the number fives in that. Uh, Dan Benjamin is the head guy on that. Um, he's, again, and they're going to kind of build up this network and uh, build up this advertising thing. He's been at this uh, for a while as well. It's kind of, I kind of uh, discovered him through the personalities I'm seeing pop up because there are a lot of times personalities that I see pop up on Twitter. Like Merlin Mann is the first one that I followed over. Uh, he does a show called Back to Work, which is about, uh, it ends up being about mindfulness. <clears throat> they say it's <clears throat> discussing productivity, communication, work, barriers, constraints, tools, and more. Man, that sounds boring in the description doesn't it but it's uh it was it was uh, turned on to me by uh the original co-host for awesome cast uh, rob de la creta there's a certain humor to it um not everybody's going to be into it but I, I recommend giving a shot you get some really good tips for really just kind of how to deal with your day into weirdness from a uh, week to week uh from time to time so i mean drop into it see if it works for you and they do talk about comics from time to time too another show that talks about comics from time to time is the anako almanac andy anako uh actually had the pleasure of running into him at the uh new york comic con back in 2011 but he, he's actually a writer for the chicago sun times he pops up on mac break weekly every week and uh, he, he, this show is him really pontificating about well things he's writing about, which he's a tech journalist. He's you know does uh, these uh, incredible long you know uh, uh, reviews on a MacBook, for instance, right, or whatever whatever the case may be. And uh, it's designated meme free zone according to the description here. But he'll also get into things that are bothering him about the uh, latest run of Final, you know, Fantastic Four or. Or a lot of photography talk in here as well. A really good kind of nerd mix. And it's kind of his own. He, he has a co-host kind of rolling along with him. But it really is like an hour monologue typically. Uh, about whatever the subject is. I was very entertained. He, he, he complained about this for the longest time. And I have. Well, it was on uh, Netflix. So uh, he did a he did a, um, a, uh, uh, a track. A, a watch along track. Like a riff tracks kind of thing. Uh, about White Christmas and all the problems with it, for instance. That was pretty entertaining. Uh, from there, I also listened to one, uh, Roderick on the Line, John Roderick, who is, uh, you know, uh, in, in the, the group the, the Long Winters. You may have known from that. Friend of guys like, you know, uh, Jonathan Jonathan Colton and, uh, and John Hodgman, for instance. Uh, I don't think I have listened to a single track of this guy, but I probably listened to well over 100 episodes of his show. A uh, very interesting, very interesting person is a guy that 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 you know, did the rock star thing. Uh, grew up in Alaska, backpacked through Europe at a point. Definitely had drug problems. Currently running for a city council seat in Seattle. Uh, he has very in very interesting geopolitical ideas. Uh, very outside the box. You know, it's humorous, you know, again, not everybody will get it, understand it, be entertained by it, but it, 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 I love quirky, odd humor, and uh, it really kind of fits into that. Uh, that really rounds out, what do I listen to every single week regardless? And I'm, I'm thinking, rack my brain, is there anything I'm missing out of that? But no, that's, that, those are the things that I do not miss. Now, there's several uh, shows you may know, you know, ones that I talk about, uh, my own uh, some of my own friends' shows uh, are, are in this as well, uh, but uh, they are not always like I have. If you know something is missing, if I don't listen to that at this day, 
you though. First, like today is Thursday. I will listen to this week in Google from yesterday. Wednesday, I make sure I get in back to work and um, back to work and um, Mac break weekly, for instance. So I have like this schedule of podcasts listening that I have. And I have a lot of other stuff that will fill in around it. And that will be the next episode. What am I listening to? Part two. What are you listening to? What's on your iPod? What's in your pod catcher what is the what are the shows that you have to listen to every week every day maybe that uh you have a hole in your soul for not having a cot let me know at sorgatron on the twitters see you guys next time this show is a member of the sorgatron media podcast network find out more at sorgatronmedia.com